Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So let's get back into it and go onwards, I guess. Get the Cyber Slick wheel. Oh my goodness, the speed. Speed's not that important though, I don't think. But anyway, let's move on and there are more on the top of the screen over to the the right but those are the DLC ones that I'm going to do after so let's get started on the Shell Cup which obviously taking after previous Mario Kart games the bottom row is starting off with tracks from other Mario Kart games Moo Moo Meadows. Which looks amazing like this. Like comparing the two is just... Oh my goodness. Comparing the versions of Moo Moo Meadows is incredible. I pressed too late, that's fine. Let's go. Gonna pass by you. Oh, and the music is amazing as well. So much nostalgia. When this track came out, like when when I played the the, the original Mario Kart Wii track of this for the first time, I couldn't even steer. Basically. So beautiful. Oh no! Banana, no. What happens if I hit a cow with a shell? That's what happens. Okay, cool. I'm glad some things stay amazing. Like hitting, hitting, hitting random things that are moving around with something else and having them jump and explode or something. Let's go. We can also do tricks off of those bumps in the road. Oh, I see that blue shell. Can't I can't outrun a blue shell. Please? Nope. I was really hoping that shell would hit Tanuki Mario, who is one of the characters that is part of the original DLC, but is available in this version for free. Go, 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 I don't think I'm going to get any further than that, though. Roy's having a little bit of trouble, apparently, but I don't think I'm going to be... Or maybe I am? Or maybe I am. Cool. It's pretty good. Mario Circuit. And oh my goodness, part of that thing is not loaded. Part of that ramp is not loaded. It's just a hole in the middle. The, um, uh, yeah, there's not meant, there's actually supposed to be stuff there. And not just like magic floating parts of a track. I don't know what's with that, but I've had that glitch. Oh, maybe it, oh, okay. So that's actually supposed to be like that, I guess. Just looking at it, it's got two parts that go up, and then they connect once they're actually up to the right position. Okay, that makes more sense now, because it was looking very weird otherwise. It still looks weird, but it makes a little bit more sense knowing that they actually do just start off disconnected and then connect after being set up. Also, there's a ramp on the side there. I have to avoid the oil on the track, so as not to get oiled. Oiled? There's also a boost 
pad over here at the start that we can take. Not sure how I, not sure how help, helpful that is, but it's a thing. We've almost caught up with the back already. Oh my goodness, it's only lap two. I mean, it's already lap two, so that's probably why. It's just a very short track. Just gonna pass you, goodbye. This just means I'm gonna have a lot more trouble with items probably because I'm in the middle of everyone. So whenever they throw an item it's gonna mess up my day. I feel like this is one of the tracks that I'm either really good at or really bad at. Depending on what CC I am on. Isabel using a bullet bill. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness, I'm passing everyone. Everyone's so mixed around, it's weird. But there we go. I also like the grand star on the front of Rosalina's thing as the icon. Cheap, cheap beach. Also, there are some really amazing Mario Kart 8 GIFs where somebody's passing, like driving along, and they look to the side and they see someone passing them. I've seen multiple GIFs of that, and it's just amazing. So funny. Anyway. This is a beautiful level. This is basically what I wanted... Oh my goodness, from... In the... Lake... The, the Seaside Kingdom in Odyssey. With just the blue. The blue looks so good. With this kind of look. The blue sky is not... Like, the sunset's good, but I really like the blue. Go. And there's some ramps over here as well. Just like that. Also, Rosalina doesn't have Voluma with her in this version. Which is sad, because in the... On the Wii, when you played as Rosalina, you had Voluma that fly around, flies around with you. What's over there on the left? Wish I could look. I wish I could look over there and see what's over there. It's just so beautiful. Also, the lighting in this game is really good, I think. Okay, go, 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 go. We're almost caught up to the back. We we'll pr probably won't catch up to them in this last lap, but we might, depending on how well we go and how badly they go. But they're, they're in the back, so they're going to get lots of good items to go fast and catch up, possibly. Let's go. Bye-bye, oh, blue shell. Nope. Just trying to get a good item and then spam it to make sure I got it. Of course I got lightning. Definitely not going to catch up to the back now. Also, I think you go slightly slower when you're in the water. Very slightly. Gonna grab one of those. Everyone's got bullet bills. More mushrooms. Just gonna zoom around here, apparently. Touch the mud. That's a shame. Oh, and then here comes another blue shell. And there it is. Boom. Into the drink. 
And then, why is it happening? Okay. <laughs> it didn't know where to put me, so it just put me a little bit further forward in the water. That's funny. Anyway. Toad's Turnpike. Which is very different from the original version. It's so different. But it's, it's a good look for it. No limits. <laughs> oh my goodness. But anyway, we have a few ways we can go, which we can go up on the side here and not have to worry about things. It is slightly slower, I believe, to go up this way, but it's a lot safer. There's also a specific car, which is this one over here, which has a... Oh, I was really hoping to go over with that. It has a ramp on it with a glider attached to it. You can actually go over the top of that that um, section there, which is the start, to get over here. You can't use that as a shortcut to the finish, though. You have to actually go the correct way. There's also this car with with a a ramp on it that you can do a trick off off of. Oh please, nope, too fast. Couldn't slow down to get onto that. Anyway, that's basically how this whole thing is. Let's just do that. So cool to have this level. Since this is one of the levels from Mario... Well, this is based off of a course from Mario Kart 64. And Mario Kart 64 is, is my childhood, really. Ow. Let's glide and actually do a good job of gliding. Maybe can't fall out of bounds there. I have to be careful. Oh my goodness, these item blocks are driving around. Is that the correct way to say that? Can can blocks drive? I'm pretty sure blocks can drive. If they're on a road, it's driving. Like these bananas around me, they're driving. Driving me crazy. Ah. Uh, Okay, this is fine. Can I? Probably not from here. That's fine. This is so different from the original version. The original version, though, on the Nintendo 64 is a little bit crazy. Especially in mirror mode, because you're going into oncoming traffic instead of going alongside the traffic. Oh my goodness, I just remembered how crazy that was. Because, yeah, everything was going so fast in the opposite direction of you. It was just so easy to crash into things, but anyway. There we go. Got the shell cup. Gold three stars. I like how it looks though. Like the gold, the gold looks really good. And then it's like got the gemstones and the like, the green on top. I don't know what the green on top is, but it's really cool. I love the trophies in this game. Like the way they look. Anyway, let's keep going. And I believe we're up to the banana cup. With Tanuki Mario, I think. I'm pretty sure Tanuki Mario was one of the DLC characters. Maybe? I might be wrong about that, but I think he was. Same with Cat Peach. Tanuki! Tanuki! Oh, got the Blue Falcon. I believe that one's good for turning. Somewhat, maybe? I could be wrong about that. Also, the- hang on. The pipe things on the standard car are Tanuki Tails, and that is just amazing. Just wanted to point that out. Anyway, banana cup, let's go. Dry, dry desert.
which is very similar to the one on the Wii, but it's also completely different at the same time. Kind of sad though. I like I liked the the look of the Wii one with going through the actual tomb. Get out of my way. This is true road rage right here. Once again, the pillars on the side of the road are also falling down, which we can use as ramps, I, except I can't if I'm going too slow, which is very easy to be going too slow in 50cc. This is also not the best cart for going fast quickly after getting hit by something. It's a wall sand, sinking sand thing there. What's actually cold? Like a... Yeah, I don't know. It's the sand sinking... The, 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 the sand is sinking into the hole. There we go. And this is the first lap. Pretty much. I wonder what happens if a pillar falls onto you. Like, do you get crushed or... explode or... What, what happens? I don't think it's ever going to happen because the game's probably not designed to have you get crushed by one of those pillars. There's also these pokies around here that you can take out uh, or go through their little hole to get the coin, but it's usually not worth it. I thought I heard somebody else's item block behind me, but no one's near me, so it can't have been. Okay. Go, 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 go. I feel like I'm slowing down here. Possibly. Oh, hello. It's time to actually use a boombox to get rid of that. Of course, lightning hits me. Of course the lightning hits me. And I guess that means the boombox didn't save me from that, possibly. I feel like it can block the lightning, but maybe I'm wrong. I know that if you have a star power, you don't get hit by lightning because you're star power. Which I'm not even sure when I'm going to get a star power. I've, I've seen a lot of people on the map get star powers, but like even right now, Mari just had one. But we're not, we're not far enough back to be able to get them. I know there are also different item modes that you can set in settings for custom, um, like rounds, I guess, I don't know, which have different effects. And I wonder if, I don't actually know what they do, and I'd like to know if there's one that actually means that you can just have, it just doesn't matter what place you're in, you always get a random item. But I don't think that would really, I don't know if there is one, uh, but I want to know. Let's go, let's go, we're done here. And now, remember this level? Donut Plains 3? It is so much harder on the SNES version. This version is okay, but oh my goodness, the original version of this level is pain. Anyway, let's go through this and have a good time, since this is a good level. Going in the water doesn't actually kill you in this version, which is a good start. We can also hop over that. A little hole in the bridge. There's a few other things that we can do once we're over here to take some shortcuts around. Oh, come on. Come on. Go down here and we can go up this way as well. And yeah, that's pretty much how this goes. There's also a shortcut through that little hole there that we can take if we have some kind of boost or just enough speed to get through. Same thing. But yeah. This level is way, way better in this version. And the music's pretty good as well in this version. OK. 
Okay. Let's go with a regular way this time. A lot of coins there. Oh, hey, back of the thing, I think. Yes, it's Link. Hello, Link. Just gonna get past you, I believe. Oh, no, 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 Link. Nope, I was hoping to get Link with that, but nope, he was too far back. Anyway. Final lap. Link, get back here. I need to be in zeroth place. That's not how that works, but anyway. Goodbye. Actually, I don't think... Oh, there are two different links. Okay. Cool. One of them's Breath of the Wild link once. One's a just different link. I don't know. Green tunic link. But there we go. I feel like this has been going a l by a lot faster, for some reason. Royal Raceway, what a good one to bring back, actually. It's a, it's a, it, yeah, childhood, you know. Oh, and the crown has lots of jewels on it, which actually reflect. It's just so cool. Go! It's so cool, and there's the hot air balloons all around the place, which also make this cool, and these trees over here. Oh my goodness. Just loving it. Just, just loving it. So good, and then the ramp. We get to glide. We don't get to go to the castle, unfortunately. Because that was a cool part of the original version, is just going... ...up to the castle area of Mario 64. But there we go. Oh my goodness, blue shell and red shell at the same time. I'm actually not that far ahead of everyone right now, which is strange. The shy, shy guy's fairly close behind. Guess this is a harder track to actually get ahead in 50cc. Just because there's a lot less places to go faster, like cut cutting corners. But anyway. Also, the, the boats are amazing. Okay, now we're actually a lot further ahead. By like a whole section. We're still... We're still way off the back. Because it's a fairly... I don't know, I wouldn't say it's a long track, but also, I haven't caught up to the back yet, so it must be longer than some of the short ones. It's like a medium size, medium length track. Okay, now I've actually caught, almost caught up to the back. But also, it's almost over. And they're almost at the end, anyway. Of their lap. Oh, Blue Shell, why? Blue Shell, why? Why? Anyway. Finish. Next race. DK Jungle. 
Very cool. Obviously, it's a it's a 3DS Mario Kart track from Mario Kart 7. But also, it's based on Donkey Kong Country Returns, and I love I love that. Especially how good it looks in this version. Oh my goodness. Here's these guys. Ow. Oh. No, 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 no. Go. Go fast. Go fast. Also, can take a shortcut here. There's also frogs jumping across the thing. And the golden banana temple. I love the Golden Banana Temple as a concept. And then there's these pillars as well. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. Let's go. Ow. Also, I believe we can actually break the DK barrels that are actually on the track, like this one over here. Eh. There we go. I think something popped out of it. Probably a banana. But it's not actually that useful to hit those. Go, 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 go. Nearly got hit by that thing there. There's another barrel here. Now I can't remember what Mario Kart game it was, but I remember, I think it was Mario Kart Wii, um, that I just loved hearing explosions in the background in that game. But anyway, we can also take this path up here which is slower, but a lot safer as well. That was perfectly timed coin, wow. Because the coin, I lost coins and then the coin that I used actually got used and put the coin right back into my counter. It's incredible. There we go. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Oh my goodness, my money. And my speed. My speed. My speed. Well, we're at the end anyway. Thank you. And we're done. I got it! There we go. Gold banana cup. 50cc. Another vehicle customization. Who could have foreseen this happening? Also love that the banana's on top of a barrel as well. But anyway, before we finish up, I also want to show that the different things that you can select have different backgrounds here as well. And also you can see that whenever you go to two-player here, it has a second toad appear. Uh, but I actually want to go to the Mario Kart TV quickly just to take a look at that. So we can see the last ones that we did recently. And these are our favorites, which we don't have any of. We can also delete them here if we wanted to with Y, but we don't have anything in those slots at the moment. So if we go to a recent one and play, we can see everything that's happening. 
all the players. And now, if it will actually play, we can press X to go full screen here. And yeah, we can see this is our highlight. Cutting between the bits that are interesting. Seeing where things came from and all that. But we can also use the left stick to reverse by pressing back on it. Or just forward, like to go really, or left, right to go fast. Uh, or I believe this also, oh, I can't remember what it was. I can't remember. Yeah, if you hold it, like, um, I can't remember what it is. Hang on. What button is it? Okay, right. ZL is restart, I think. Or L in general. Now, I believe there's a button. Okay, if you hold down B button, you actually... Just everything's in slow motion. You can still speed up and reverse it, but everything's just slowed down. Which is kind of funny for some things. But you can get some really cool action shots as well, I guess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. Nope, there it goes. Boom. But yeah, that's that. And then... Oh, hang on. If we go to the menu, we can also edit highlight reel. So, feature driver, we can actually change that to show different characters as well. Um... Focus on everything, or we could focus on hits, drifting, items, action, basically. We can also increase the duration of how long it goes for. Uh, and we can just do full, but it only focuses on one, one person throughout the whole race, basically. In the sounds, we can do effects only, or music only. Which music only is probably more helpful. We can also turn on the map or not, which you probably won't want to use. But there we go. So now we've got a different clip entirely because of it just being different in the way that we've edited it. And also there's no music, it's just the item sound effects, which is funny. It's so different without sound effects. It's like you're trying to have like a fight, but there's no sound and you're trying to be quiet so you don't like wake somebody up or something. <laughs> They're just so happy to be going fast. Bullet Bill. But yeah, that's that's how Mario Kart TV works. What did I press? I don't know what I pressed. I went to the next one, I guess. Okay. If I could actually quit out of that, this that'd be great, please. Menu exit. There we go. So that's how Mario Kart TV works. We can also pre probably favorite recent um the recent ones that we've races that we've done from that menu as well but anyway that is it for now so thank you all for watching and i'll see you all next time